Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Madden and I'm an entrepreneur. Over the past decade, I've worked professionally in the field of musical theatre. I'm also the co-creator of the only temp agency for dance teachers in Canada, Quick Ball Change. I've been inspired to start a mini-series vlog to share my knowledge as well as speak to those who work professionally in the industry. This is just meant to be an informal chat so we can hopefully all learn something and I hope you enjoy. Today we're talking about hair and makeup. Part one is by the lovely Caitlin Lowe. She's a very good friend of mine. She's done all of the things. She builds costumes at Stratford. She builds costumes for Set Life, and she is the best dresser you will ever get. So today, Caitlin is gonna show us how to do a wig prep. This is a mesh band that we start with just to uh, basically slick the hair back so you can get a nice part of hairline. And then usually I slide this up just so you can see the hairline. And then the next step is to do pin curling. So to do that, uh, all you need are bobby pins, just like you can find them anywhere. And you take sections of your hair, generally about one inch size hair piece like this. And if you wrap it around your fingers, I usually use my two fingers here and wrap the hair around. You can kind of twist it to form almost like a little rosette of hair like that. Um, and I usually take your front pieces and I attach them to the band so that um, your wig will actually have something to hold on to. And that's why we pin curl, Caitlin. <laughs> that is why we pin why curl. We pin curl? <laughs> we, <laughs> we pin curl so that your, your natural hair will stay as flat as possible uh, when you are applying wigs onto your hair. And is clean hair or dirty hair better for pin curls? Uh, generally speaking, um, actually to have uh, a bit of, I guess, I, I, to have dirtier hair is actually more helpful. Um, having clean hair, of course, is great, um, but it's uh, because your hair is conditioned, it's very silky, and it'll actually want to slide around underneath your wig a lot more. So it's better if it's a bit dirty. So I'm going to have amazing pin curls. Today. Yes, exactly. <laughs> And do you like bobby pins or hair pins, like the ones that are like this, or do you like the ones that are like this? Like what are better to do a pin curl? So when you're pin curling, bobby pins, just like the ones I showed earlier, these guys are uh, a lot better to be making a pin curl with. They just hold things a lot easier. Um, hair pins are good for um, either styling usually, or if you're um, if you're trying to hold your wig into place. Um, we actually use other pins called geisha pins, which are very large versions of hair pins like these. Um, and they're, they're very thick. So um, if you've pin curled your hair correctly, you should only need four of those uh, geisha pins to hold the wig in place. Um, and I can tell you that normally once the wig goes on, you would just wanna put those four pins right here just to anchor the front of the wig and then two back here where your name is. Uh, my hair is not that long because it doesn't grow very fast. <laughs> what if you have very, very long hair? Um, if you have long hair, that's okay. Uh, you can still do this pin curling uh, way to uh, hair prep. Um, but uh, there's also other ways of um, wrapping your hair uh, so that you can uh, still prep it for a wig to go on. Um, there's, uh, there's a version where you can take almost dividing your hair into two sections and then uh, you separate it kind of like this, twist the back, and then you pull one side of the hair up this way and then the other side of the hair up this mm -hmm. way and you can flat pin it into place to kind of keep the shape of the head. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I've seen some people French braid sometimes too. Yeah, French braiding is also an option. Um, it's, uh, that's also pretty great just because it has uh, something for the wig to kind of pin into as well. Um, yeah, there's, there's many different versions and everyone kind of has their own, their own choice and what they'd like to do. Um, and of course, sometimes after you've pin curled uh, or you released your pin curls after a show or something like that, um, it'll usually end up really nice and curly if you're going to opening or something like that. Or if you braid, then of course your hair will be crimped and so on and so forth. So do really good pin curls, especially on openings. Exactly. Really good advice. <laughs> yes.
And if you're pin curling for the first time, it does usually take a while. So uh, give yourself lots of time. Uh, and then as, as you get more experience doing it, you'll, you'll find ways of doing it a lot quicker. And um, is that you think your best advice for new pin curlers? <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Leave lots of time. Leave lots of time to do this for the first few times that you do it. It's a lot harder to do it on yourself than it is <laughs> with someone else doing it. Yeah, it's very nice and relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is kind of what a pin curled head looks like. <laughs> and then uh, once you're done pin curling, we usually use another net or a wig cap to cover all of the curls so that they stay compacted and then they don't uh, affect the wig that's going on top. So in this case, we usually just take something like a piece of fishnet or a nylon or something like that. That is my Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it's a little hairnet, but that's okay. <laughs> it's vintage. Yeah. <laughs> So, Sarah, again, if you can lift your thumbs up for me, and if you can just stretch it right on top of the pin curls like that. And again, just pull this up so that it meets the hairline. And to hold something like that in place, we use smaller pins just like this. Pins. Yeah. And you kind of grab a piece of the nylon like that with the pin and then you tuck it underneath all of the prep so that everything stays under it. And again, I only, I don't use too many of these, just enough for it to stay in place, so about four or five. And sometimes there's an open area here at the top, depending on the cap, so you can just kind of fold it closed. And there you have it. Hey, Ta-da! <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin! Now we all know how to wait for <laughs>